Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Jana Emil, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Alistair Martin. Dr. Martin is a practicing emergency physician and a faculty member in the Harvard Medical School Center for Social Justice and Health Equity. He had a particularly busy year as a founder of Vote ER, which is a nonpartisan project that provides people with the opportunity to register to vote. His passion for health policy that empowers patients also informs another project he created called Get Wavered, which aims to expand access to treat to treatment for those struggling with substance abuse disorder. First, if you can start just by telling us a little bit about yourself and what led to your interest in pursuing a career within medicine and specifically emergency medicine. My interest in emergency medicine really comes from my own personal story growing up in a low-income community in New Jersey. Uh, I grew up in a, a short town in New Jersey. It was a majority minority. Uh, grew up with a single mom at home and many other families and communities like the one that I grew up in, uh, we struggled with access to health insurance. We struggled with access to health care. And when it came time for me to get checkups or to get evaluated for non-urgent things, often the decision was uh, to go to the ER, not unlike many of the patients who I see now. And so I learned from a young age that emergency rooms hold a special place in vulnerable communities. And so I learned from a young age that ER docs and emergency rooms really hold this incredible social safety net together and that it was gonna be my responsibility to be everyone's doctor as an ER doc. And for our students right now in our audience who are listening for our healthcare professionals that are early on in their career, is there any other advice that you would give them in the way of you know, how to meet the challenges of the moment. And that can be COVID and dealing with that. Or that can be, you know, what we've been talking about, about these healthcare disparities. I used to think that there was this room of smart people somewhere in state government and federal government who had like 30 whiteboards all around them and had some of the smartest minds in one room figuring this all out, all of the challenges that we have. That room doesn't exist. You are in that room. It's on us now. What I learned also was that those rooms often are not filled with folks like those, you know, really smart people in a room. They're not, they're not thinking necessarily about what are the innovative new ways that we can uh, make things better. Often they are the agents of the status quo. Often they want to keep things the same. So I'll end with this. We are who we've been waiting for. Get to work. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.